Yo, what's up? It's your boy Currency365. Hope you guys are doing well. Legends never die. They stay in our hearts. Uh, if you want to support us, click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and also you can come down here and hit the join button uh, under the video uh, or in our channel uh, section. And you can also join our Patreon, patreon.com slash currency365. And uh, we also have Cash App and also PayPal uh, for support if you want to sell some seeds. Peace out. God bless. Enjoy the video and keep the movement going. Legends. Bye. The Indians are saying that this is somehow sacred ground. And that it, by adding a, one additional pipe in here alongside the additional two that are in there, that somehow that's violating their sacredness. And what they're concerned about is something happening in here and contaminating their water supply, all, which, which is all alongside of their Standing Rock Reservation. This is a river. This river has been dammed up to create kind of a reservoir kind of thing here, is what's going on. And, uh, and so this is, what, what, this is what's happening. So the federal government, since they owned a thousand feet of this, this, came in and said, we will not, after they had granted it, said, we're not going to give you a permit to go through here. And the company has already built this and it's costing them $20 million a, year, a month not to be able to, um, to operate. This is, they have overhead, they built it, uh, and they've been stopped just because of this little section right here that they can't build. So Donald Trump has come out and said, I'm going to give, uh, do some, give some kind of uh, notice here that allow them to eventually go through their paperwork and get it corrected and get this permitted so that they can go through. So they've just been holding up this 1,000 feet of, uh, of area uh, uh, and for the, uh, the pipeline. Now, what does that do? What does that do? That, what this does is, again, it opens up. This is bringing the oil from uh, North, uh, North Dakota, the Bakken oil, into our pipeline system. That's what this is doing. And this is crucial because right now, at oil at $50 a barrel, the, uh, the, uh, the Bakken companies and the Wilson Basin companies are just barely holding on. Some of them have gone broke. And uh, right now, because they have to ship their uh, oil by, uh, by uh, uh, oil car range, uh, on, on the rails, uh, they it cost them an ex extra five to ten dollars per barrel, and so by putting this pipeline in, all of a sudden you have five to ten dollars uh, more profit in that barrel of oil, which means those guys are going to start drilling again. They're going to start uh, operating again, and uh, and things are going to begin to to happen. So we're just we're we're excited about that. And then the next thing that comes out is cnbc.com uh, comes up here and says Trump may have an, have just opened up 10 additional energy projects by easing the approval process for infrastructure programs President Donald Trump may have resurrected a number of oil and gas projects that were languishing Trump signed executive orders Tuesday advancing both the, the controversial Keystone Pipeline and the Dakota Access Pipeline based on approvals. Uh, Trump uh, separately signed an order requiring pipeline builders to use American steel. Additionally, he signed orders expediting environmental review and approval process for high priority infrastructure projects. There's another executive, there's other executive orders that, that speed up the environmental review process and I believe that will open up the door to these other stall projects going through, said Daniel Clifton, head of policy research at Stratgas. Uh, Clifton said there were about 10 other energy products, projects totaling $7 billion that were turned down or held up since the Obama administration rejected the estimated $10 billion Keystone XL pipeline in November of 2015. Among the other projects are the $3 billion Atlantic Sunrise Project in Pennsylvania, delayed in March. The $3 billion uh, Jordan Cove uh, NLG project in Oregon, rejected in March. 
The $700 million Gateway Pacific Coal Terminal was rejected in May, and the Penn East Pipeline in Pennsylvania and New Jersey was delayed in March. The $5.1 billion uh, Atlantic Coast Pipeline in West Virginia, Virginia, and North Carolina was delayed in April. Now what he's doing is he's opening up billions of dollars of additional, not just these two, two things, additional pipelines that are absolutely cru crucial. For instance, that East Coast Pipeline is necessary. Why? Uh, there aren't uh, pipelines uh, from the center of America to the East Coast. The East Coast is provided oil from uh, foreign areas. The North Sea, Saudi Arabia, other, other areas, Nigeria, etc. come into the East Coast. What we need to do is get pipelines over to the East Coast service so they can actually buy American oil. And the same thing has to happen on the West Coast where we get pipelines over there so if they are being, uh, they are uh, uh, functioning that way. Tony, how much oil do we actually get from Spain, Mexico, and Venezuela, I mean, from South? Well, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the two biggest oil uh, imports is Canada's number one, Mexico's number two, and Saudi Arabia's number three, I believe, right now. But we're getting more than a barrel, uh, a, a one, a one and a half million barrels of oil per day from Saudi Arabia. Yeah. And so uh, those are the things that we're, we're talking about now. What have we done? We've just talked about maybe a dozen huge <laughs> pipeline projects, right? So as my precious wife asked me, what would we do? Well, we would go to Northwest Pipe. In, 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 well, it didn't, I didn't get an N. N, W, P, X. Northwest Pipe. Here is Northwest Pipe. They are the makers, the U.S. maker, the biggest maker of, uh, of pipe. Now, what we have is we have a lot of other companies that make pipe. They're steel companies. They make all kinds of stuff. This is a company that just makes pipe. So when pipe is, pipe is in demand, this is what you want to do. This is why this thing is jumped. And when we see these other 10 or 15 other projects take off, there's billions of dollars worth of American pipe that's going to be used in that. Are they the fabricators? We're the fabricators. Okay. We are the fabricators, and it's made. It's U.S. pipe made in America, and it's called Northwest Pipe. And let me put the symbols up here. It's Northwest Pipe X. NWPX. The uh, that you want to take a look at. What is that? That's just a long-term buy and hold. That's just, you know, it might go up and down. What we're trying to do is follow the trend. The trend is up, you know, right now in this, this company. You're following the trend on these kinds of things. Uh, and so we're really excited about that. Then, in addition, uh, that the profits are hearing, uh, many of you maybe have heard that uh, Cindy Jacobs just released a prophetic word like her... Uh, the annual word for 2017, uh, and one of the things that was in this, this word was that she had seen that there's going to be a fabulous new uh, natural gas pipeline in Alaska. Oh. And she put that, put that forward because what's happened is uh, the oil, the, Alaska has tremendous financial troubles because the oil production has been falling because the Obama administration has restricted drilling of oil in Alaska. And they're, they're really hurting, so they've been trying to put together another project. And so uh, we just learn, learned, uh, Margaret uh, just sent this to me uh, uh, from uh, uh, Juneau, Alaska. The state of Alaska has opened an office in Tokyo to help promote trade and advance a long hoped for natural gas pipeline project. That goes through about information about they've hired some employees and uh, they've uh, uh, they've got, got a guy there who's been working for them and all of that. But basically, it comes down to this. Uh, Alaska faces a multi-billion dollar budget deficit because of chronically low oil prices, and the lawmakers began a 90-day session this week that will be dominated by what Governor Bill Walker has called a financial crisis. Walker advocates building a multi-billion dollar natural gas pipeline to diversify the economy, 
previous efforts to build such a pipeline have failed. So we have this prophetic word that uh, Cindy gets that, that they're going to be doing this uh, fabulous uh, pipeline in, in Alaska. And what they're going to do, the reason they uh, op the state of Alaska has opened offices in Japan is because they are lining up through those offices people who are going to use and buy the natural gas that's from the pipeline that, uh, that there, so, so that Alaska will be an exporter of natural gas. Of course, right now, some of the products, oil products, come down the west coast from Alaska, and, uh, and some of the natural gas may come down, but basically, they're looking for the big contracts for natural gas to come out of Japan. What's this? Another huge uh, pipeline project. This is going to be a massive pipeline project uh, that uh, Cindy Jacobs has foreseen, and the prophets are prophesying into this thing. And so take a look at that. There's going to be a demand there, and the companies involved in that we're going to be watching and following. But again, you would suspect that Northwest Pipe would be one of the, the biggest producers of pipe. They can buy pipe from other companies, you know, other steel companies in America. However, uh, they make wide flanges, and they make piling, and they make sheet, sheet steel, and so uh, an order of pipe, a big order of pipe, won't make a big difference to them. It's just another order of many different orders that are coming in. But in a pipe company like Northwest Pipe, that's going to make huge differences in their, uh, in their bottom line and their profitability, because that's all they do. So what we're looking at is an incredible change in this area uh, that uh, the energy is changing. Uh, uh, America's energy situation is changing. We're going to have natural gas. We're going to have uh, heavy crude. We're going to have light crude. We have new areas opening up uh, in America. And, and America may even become an energy exporter, at least net, uh, because when you look at how much energy we, we export that has been uh, where we refine it and convert it into other products, such as kerosene and propane and whatever, a thousand different products that we create uh, out of that. So I was just really excited about that, that, uh, <coughs> that uh, we have these 10 additional projects and it's just not about, and, and I, I know that Donald Trump has a heart for the American Indians, and he's going to do a lot of things that are going to be beneficial uh, for the American Indians. I felt that the, uh, 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 the American Indians chose a, a wrong, they, they want more independence, but they chose a wrong fight. This wasn't the fight that they should have chosen. They need to uh, choose another fight to get more independence to themselves. Okay. Yes. I, uh Hi everyone, uh, this is Ken's story. I'd like to take a minute or two to uh, tell you about what our business and ministry is, investing with insight. Uh, what you are looking at is our, uh, our uh, website on uh, Facebook. We post here uh, uh, frequently. We have videos and all kinds of interesting articles, prophetic revelation. Uh, Let's go over here and take a look at uh, our investingwithinsight.com website. This is where we, uh, we post a lot of our information, a lot of dreams and revelations are posted here uh, with people, for people. Uh, we see what the Lord is saying and we see how we might be able to invest and protect our families and our, our businesses at this time. Let's go over here to our, uh, this is our, uh, our website that we run on Kajabi. This is for our paying members only. And uh, uh, we have, uh, here we have, we post all of our videos, uh, uh, all of our, uh, our special reports. We have resources and watch lists and special reports. We have our meetings, we have prophetic revelation. We have our top picks of our top stocks, our penny stocks, this kind of thing that the Lord has shown us. And I want you to, to get an idea because as a member you'll get a, uh, you'll have a part of this. Let's go over here. Let's say uh, you joined us. Well, every Saturday morning we have a um, uh, a presentation or online. We broadcast online. You can see here we got two days and 19 hours to go here before we do our next one. The um, uh, and we have a chat area over here on the right. You can see where people can chat and they can talk back and forth about what's going on, be a part of the community. We have people around the world 
on, um, on several different continents that are all a part of this on uh, Saturday mornings. Then, uh, then what happens is we also have people who are traders. And so every, um, every week um, I provide, I mean every day, I provide a, a, a stock uh, list of where you can invest based on the, the, where the market is for this particular day, based on our prophetic stocks. As you can see right here, uh, I'm shorting the market. I'm sh the, the DUG, I'm shorting uh, energy. Uh, the VIX, uh, I'm saying that there's going to be a lot of uh, volatility in the market, so the VIX will go up. I'm still in Apple. Uh, I'm shorting China. I'm going long U.S. Treasuries. I'm shorting gold, uh, uh, silver here, and I'm shorting gold mining companies here. So you can kind of see how we're doing. Right now we're averaging about 66% um, APR, and we've been doing this for 631 days. So you can kind of see uh, trading days. Uh, over here we'll take a look at uh, some of our other resources that we have uh, that you would be available to you. We have, we have watch lists, special reports, uh, recommended tools and services, how to invest. We have training classes, 16 basic training class, plus we have an archive of all of our past re resources. There's a forum that goes along with it as well. And then over here, uh, I'd like to, like to show you, uh, we have our tweets. Every day we have tweets going out. Uh, uh, we tweet out our, uh, our daily trading, plus uh, uh, all my trades are tweeted out, uh, plus uh, any important articles or per important uh, prophetic revelation that's coming out, we tweet that out to everyone. And so, um, for instance, if you would um, like to, uh, uh, to join up with us, what we have here is you just basically go to... Um, the store and uh, you can click on becoming a member and we have um, we have it's normally four hundred and seven dollars a year for an annual membership and you get essentially weekly meetings um, we, we, we do skip once in a while you can do forty seven dollar monthly membership or a four hundred seven dollar annual membership and we have specials that we're running from time to time and you can take a look at those those specials so uh, basically, uh, that's what we are, that's who we are, and uh, it's been great talking to you, and we bless you. hope you will join it, our prophetic investing community.